All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Summer Full 4. So today, guys, we're going to do our um, dream draw for the Champions League quarterfinals and the semifinals. Well, yeah, and we're also going to do my predictions as well. Now, I'm not going to do a mock draw simply because of the fact that it's free-for-all. Basically, any team can play against each other. There's no restrictions. So I don't really feel it would make sense to do a mock draw for that. I feel like it'll be a lot better when to do when we have like restrictions and like you know different pots and like that. And I just don't really feel like it would make sense to do in this kind of way. So, you know, I'm not gonna be doing that. So, anyways, let's start with the dream draw, guys. Dream draw. Obviously, Milan Derby. This I think would be amazing, simply because of the fact that we have seen this season the Champions League being so average. Like, there's not really been any really good fixture I would say that we've seen so far. And I feel like this would be a great matchup. We would get a guaranteed uh, Italian club in the semifinals. And it would also be very interesting. We'd have Inter and Milan. Both these teams haven't made the semis for some time now. And I think it will be very, very uh, nice to have that. And as well as the fact that we know how fierce this rivalry is. It's one of the biggest rivalries in the world, you know. And the two just have a deep hatred for each and, each and other. And I feel like it would be a really good matchup because it's 50-50, you could say. Like, I don't really know which team would I would I would favor i mean i would probably slightly favor inter just because inter just look a lot more cohesive and look a lot more stable but you can't rule out milan i mean you just simply can't so it's a difficult one guys and that's why i like this one it's that it's 50 50 next up it is um next up is Bayern real madrid um these two teams have played against each other for some time now there's a big big it's one of the biggest rivalries in the world and i feel like we have we need to have a proper conclusion you know and i feel like this time being in 2023, five years later after what happened in 2018. And I feel like this time things are a lot different from then. You know, Bayern have strengthened. Real Madrid have all weakened, you can say, in some regard. As well as the fact there's a lot of different uh, different things to note here. Bayern have defensively been looking so solid. Real Madrid this season have been amazing. Uh, their attacks been looking good. So it would be very, very interesting. And I feel like we, should, we can finally get this matchup. And I would love to see it. You know, Bayern versus Real Madrid. We finally get it. Nagelsmann versus Ancelotti as well. You know, and, you know, David Alaba, you know, former um, Bayern player playing against his former club, then Tony Cruz as well. And then obviously, um, it would be very interesting to see um, the attack between, you know, Vinicius versus uh, Musiala. Then you have, like, uh, Kamavinga. Like, I don't know. I just feel like this would be a really, really good matchup. I, I would love to see it, man. I'd love to see it. And I feel like I, I haven't seen Bayern Real Madrid. Um, just so you guys know, live before. So this will be the first time I get to see it for the first time in my life. So we know how these two teams love to play against each other. Next up is Napoli Manchester City. This for me would be a great matchup because I feel like Manchester City have every. This is a matchup where you can make an argument for both teams. Manchester City should win this with them being the favorites, but you can't rule off Napoli. Look what they've been doing this season, and I feel like this is a good matchup in the sense that this isn't an easy draw per se. And I feel like this is a this is one where Manchester City actually have a difficult challenge because Napoli is not an easy team. Well, whereas Napoli, uh, Manchester City might be ha happy. Oh, we avoided Bayern, we avoided Real Madrid, we avoided Chelsea. But here's the thing: you still have to play Napoli, you know. And it's it's it, they've been amazing this season in the Serie A. You know, they pretty much dropped the Serie A off, and now they have all their focus left in the Champions League. Whereas Manchester City, on the other hand, they have to focus on Premier League and the Champions League. So Napoli have the luxury, whereas Champ whereas Manchester City don't. So I feel like this will be a really, really interesting matchup. Pep Guardiola versus, of course, um, Spalletti. And I feel like it will be very interesting to see what happens in this one. And plus, we haven't seen Manchester City play against Italian club for some time now, I believe. But the final matchup is Chelsea-Benfica. You know I had to do this one. Chelsea-Benfica, guys. It, the Enzo Fernandez narrative is so sweet. It's so amazing. And playing him against a former club as well. As well as the fact that I feel like there's an upset in possible this one. This one, I could see an upset happening. Whereas I do think Chelsea are favorites. Of course, I would probably edge with Chelsea to advance. But I could see Benfica honestly making the upset. You know, especially being the second leg being in Lisbon. Portugal could be very spicy indeed. So um, I kind of did the first two matchups as if it was like um, um, in the left side of the bracket. And these last two have been on the right side of the bracket. So we would have a Manchester City versus Chelsea. I guess would be my prediction. And Inter versus Real, uh, Inter versus Real Madrid. So it would be very, very interesting. And this... Is what I believe we're going to see on Friday. So this is my prediction, guys. So for the left side of the bracket, I think we're going to see Man City go up against Inter. 
I think Chelsea's going to be playing against Napoli. On the right side, I have Bayern Munich to play against Benfica and Real Madrid to play against Milan. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Remember, guys, to leave down your dream draw as well and your predictions as well. And make if you made it this far, please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button as well. Comment below with your thoughts. Also, consider becoming a member of the channel. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.